The Adelaide Hills Council area generates approximately 7,500 tonnes of landfill waste each year, which ends up here at the Brinkley landfill site. A lot of this waste can be avoided by just thinking smarter. We all know about recycling, but there are actually better options in the waste management hierarchy, and they are to avoid it in the first place, reuse it where possible, and reduce it if we can. One of the main waste categories that can benefit greatly from applying these steps is electronic waste. E-waste is terrible for the environment. It leaches out lots of chemicals into the soil. It's bad for the ecosystems. It's ultimately bad for our health. A big hurdle with operating a landfill is sadly batteries. People often don't realise they can dispose of these items free of charge. When those batteries go to landfill, there's a pretty good chance they're gonna end up catching on fire. And these fires are extremely difficult to put out. It's important to safely dispose of electronic waste in batteries, but how can we avoid generating this waste in the first place? E-waste is growing three times faster than, than normal waste. Try not to get drawn in by the marketing that makes you feel like you need to get the newest and the latest product. The mobile phones especially, if it still works, do you really need to upgrade it to a newer, fancier model? The Hutt Community Centre in Allgate, they have a repair cafe where you can bring old things to get repaired. We try and encourage people to bring items in because if there's an opportunity to reuse something, that's really important because then that's not going to landfill. It is free to have your items looked at and repaired. Um, if people want to make a donation, they can. We find a lot of people are learning that they can bring their electrical appliances in and uh, we can have a look at them and in most cases repair them. From toasters, coffee machines, lamps, DVD players, we've had televisions, we've had a whole range of things in here so sometimes things just need a really small fix. So every repair cafe we have, after the repair is done, we weigh the um, item and we keep a list of um, the kilograms of items and. Generally, at the end of the day, there's anything up to 100 kilograms of material that we've saved from going to the landfill. There are some things that people bring in that we can't fix, so we recommend that they take them to the Heathfield Resource and Recovery Centre. There are several in the hills, but that is the main one that's uh, closest here to the hunt. The things we take here at the Resource Centre would be probably basically anything, all sorts of types of domestic rubbish, anything electrical like e-waste, white goods, fridges, anything metal products is all free. We're uh, a friendly mob and would just like to help you out as best as possible. It'd be less that goes actually in the landfill and better off for the kids in the next generation. It all starts around our homes, thinking outside the box and turning trash into treasure. When it comes to household items or building materials, you can avoid buying new. You can go to your local salvage yards, jumble sales, or there's a lot of Facebook groups where you can swap things, trade things, um, or buy second hand. So some of these places in the hills, like the Uradler Salvage Yard or uh, the Summertown Jumble Sale, have got such awesome treasures. You wouldn't find them in a, in a new shop. We've found treasures like doors and windows, uh, old water tanks, which we've cut up and created veggie beds out of. I've got a three bay compost system, um, which we built out of scrap things lying around. Creating um, a compost in your garden is a lot easier and not as complex as you might think. And it's really handy because you can then reuse the soil on your gardens. That's the best part of it. So you don't need to go out and buy a potting mix or a, or a compost. So if you've got um, materials or trees that have fallen down, it's worth checking out the council website. They've got a list of places where you can take things, including the Heathfield Recovery Centre. Timber that you bring there or um, green waste, it gets mulched up and then gets resold and used on your garden. At Adelaide Hills Council, we're passionate about reducing waste and we know you are too. So we hope that the tips in this video will help you think smarter about waste. If you require any more information, be sure to download the My Local Services app. You can also check out Adelaide Hills Council website to learn more about the ways you can avoid, reduce and reuse items.